if you have questions, you know, you can just ask. There's a lot of competent people in there. Like Salamify, who's shout out Salamify. <laughs> Check out his channel, guys. Salamify. He's doing a good job. And he's also helping people out. Salamify is really helpful. It's an honor for me to help. Um, I, I really appreciate all the support uh, from people who is like supporting us, supporting the channel, amazing people. You guys also subscribe to the RTX Tyrell, I mean Tech Tyrell right now. He, his previous name was RTX Tyrell channel. Uh, he's an amazing person. Yeah, other than that, <laughs> let's roll on with the, uh, the reason of this video. Now, guys, this is going to be a pretty long video. Uh, I don't think you guys gonna watch entire of the video, but if you guys gonna do it, I think you're gonna learn uh, also useful information, also not useful information because I speak a lot and uh, sometimes I think a lot while speaking. And yeah, uh, basically the reason of this video, you guys remember I did like an unboxing of the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro and that's like uh, one of the biggest uh, views of my <laughs> channels like record right now and i don't know if this is gonna reach that much uh like uh range of views but i don't know maybe it is but maybe it's not we will see and yeah uh, there are two things uh before if you guys gonna watch all of the video i need to say i talk about the speaker part uh, of the laptop well i meant to say not alienware r1 i want meant to say alienware r2 speakers well right now you don't understand what i'm saying but once you start watching video you're probably gonna understand what i'm saying i meant to say alienware r2 not alienware r1 i said it uh, alienware r1 two times but uh, it's actually I, I was talking about alienware r2 and yeah uh, other than that uh, i forgot to mention about the touchpad even though i know this video is quite long i need to say it right now the laptop touchpad is uh, amazing like uh, actually i'm not a touchpad type of person i usually use the mouse uh, but i actually uh, like like the touchpad quite a lot even though the quality i, I guess it's okay it's like a really decent touchpad uh, I don't uh, find any rattling voices for the touchpad as well. And yeah, that is the things I missed from this entire one hour uh, of video. I think even more than one hour of video. Yeah, if you guys uh, enjoy the contest, make sure to hit like and subscribe button and comment down below the video if you have anything to say. And yeah, other than that, uh, we have art, cooking, technology and uh, gaming contents four major contents either end of the video either in the description tab or you guys can find it in the playlist section of the channel obviously and like these four are the most important uh, like not important like every videos are including these four the others one are like one single ch uh, like things inside on the playlist if you guys want to watch all of the videos all these four have the like basically every video on the channel you can find or you can just watch them in the video section, I guess. Yeah, I speak a lot. Let's roll on with the video now. Hello, everyone who is watching the video right now. Uh, this is like a, one of the weirdest setups I did in my life. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Like the even the headset of the Steel Series video, uh, I had like a different type of method to put the camera like this angle, but this is like one of the weirdest angle. I am literally using like a shoe rope to tangle my camera to not fall down obviously that's like a, one of the weirdest setup i did don't judge me i don't have like a good technological stuff to stabilize my webcam i i need to use like ancient stuff to do this possible and i'm not really sure the audio taking the uh, recording very well or not so yeah the reason why you guys are watching this video probably the thumbnail and the title is uh, good for you to understand uh, my, my wife, my 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 life, uh, Legion Five Pro here, uh, Stingray White Edition. The all videos I did uh, with this laptop currently right here, sitting near me, and uh, I'm gonna talk about the laptop. Obviously, I'm gonna say uh, the stuff I like and stuff I don't like. But I don't think there's like a lot of stuff I don't like. But this is fine. This is literally fine. Uh, I'm just gonna basically say to people like let's say you want to buy this laptop and the reasons why this is going to be a pretty long video I'm pretty sure and uh, yeah for 
everything uh, I, I hope I can make like a timestamps right now it's not supported in my channel uh, but once it's supported I am obviously gonna add it uh, if the future is available uh, and other than that yeah uh, let's start with uh, everything uh, basically I'm gonna start from the specs uh, this is like a, a 2560 to 1600p 16.10 aspect ratio uh, like sc native screen resolution is like 2k or 4k some people say um, and basically the what was it yeah the, the screen is 16 uh, not like a 15.6 like this is like one of the first uh, 16 inch laptops I think uh, or not the first but the era of the 16 inch laptops like increasing in numbers because i don't really remember uh, previous models like this they designed before it's like a new thing once uh, they started to do these type of laptops and yeah honestly uh, yeah I, I was talking about the specs okay not don't go overboard for the other stuff uh, it has RTX 3060 well, 130 watts TGP, which is like a max P GPU, but for the base it works 115. Let's say you don't uh, unlock the full potential of NVIDIA Reflex, something like that, which is like allowing your GPU to like go 130 watts, something like that. And uh, the CPU, it is AMD uh, 5800H, 8-core uh, uh, CPU with 3.9 base clock and I guess 4. Point, uh, I, I can't remember it was 4.4 uh, 4, something like that 4.4 gigahertz for the maximum uh, clock speed for the CPU this is like maybe one of the major reasons why people want to choose this because uh, it, like, it has like a very unique battery life uh, if you disable the max switch let's say discrete GPU if you disable that you are getting uh, let's say I think I see it nine hours if I if I remember correctly, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna explain how I get that uh, like maximum uh, battery life, uh, but it will be uh, in the probably longer uh, like parts of the video. Uh, other than that, it has uh, 16 RX 16 RAM, which is like a slow RAM. Unfortunately, I I have the model with uh, RX 16 RAM. I could upgrade it, but uh, I didn't see the point to because. If I need to upgrade it, I need to buy kits, buy stuff to uh, pry open the uh, like prime tools to open the laptops back, and I don't have that. Uh, like when I first tried opening my laptop, I tried uh, credit cards, but I don't really recommend that because these things are quite uh, hard to open. And uh, I remember, like I had like a number of this. I made the unboxing video, but I couldn't make the review of it sadly. Uh, I, I actually bleed my finger to try to pry open the back kindly to not hurt the laptop but I hurt my finger so that's not really recommended and other than that uh, I have 512 uh, gigs of storage for the laptop uh, not uh, 1000 terabyte storage guys not not the 1000 terabyte storage okay I, I remember last time you guys like made fun of me I'm sorry I, I, I like I, sometimes it happens like I'm not a pro youtuber you know sometimes these things happens like, like I'm just kidding okay don't don't be uh, don't try to uh, think that I'm trying to offend or to do something like that it's everything is okay it's like a joke and yeah uh, other than that uh, we have 165 hertz refresh rate laptop with g-sync supported display which is like a pretty cool stuff uh, g-sync maybe some of you guys don't know it's basically helping let's say your laptop is like getting uh, 30 fps 40 fps in games it's trying to uh, help you get like a uh, try to make it like a 60 fps or maybe higher uh, experience uh, even though you're getting 30 fps it's trying to help your laptop to uh, make it smoother the gameplay smoother that's why it's like a very important future you can get it with uh, monitors that support g-sync too but you have if you have a g-sync supported laptop that's also uh, a reason to not buy a monitor maybe if you don't need like a larger screen i don't know like 16 inch uh, screen is really good for me like uh, i i do uh, like most of the stuff from the laptop i don't have any monitor if i had the monitor i had like a more so many stuff to carry around which is gonna take lots of time to do it obviously and uh, the quality is uh, I see like some people said it's aluminium and no like I, I don't find any aluminium 
uh, maybe in the lid a little bit, uh, but I, I, when I checked it, it, it like it reminds me like a hard plastic, like a high quality plastic, let's say. <laughs> and yeah, the laptop keyboard is fine, and uh, I do recommend you guys to have this uh, filter, which is like a protecting from the dust. It comes with the laptop. Some people just throw it away, but I don't do it because. Uh, it keeps the laptop clean if I don't use it often. You know, sometimes uh, dust can appear uh, since it's a white color option. Uh, people also ask in the comment section, uh, they told me, does it get dusty? And uh, if it is, like, let me know. And I told them, uh, I didn't notice uh, like a lot of dust because I'm using this type of stuff. But I think if I don't use this, uh, probably in the front cover there will be lots of dots, dusts to clean. But I don't really care. Uh, if I see dust, I can clean with the microfiber cloth. Don't try other stuff. It might uh, make a little bit damage for the laptop's uh, screen. Maybe I don't know. Like I do recommend you guys to use a gently microfiber cloth. That's like the best way to clean your laptop. And uh, for the like, I don't think you should use like a, a spray with like a soap or detergent that type of stuff because uh, I, I think that can affect the longevity of the screen or the stuff. Like I know it's helping with the good smell and you know uh, cleaning, but I, I, like the regular water is fine. And like if you don't uh, don't make like a like fountain of your napkin if you if you are no, not uh, cloth like fiber, don't don't make the microfiber cloth like that wet like it, it don't let it drip water like uh, make sure it's wet but don't let it like uh, wet enough to uh, make puddles in laptop okay just just uh, make like a maybe a little bit wet and then just gently clean and that's that that will be probably enough like that's one thing i would say for people who is trying to clean their laptops and uh, obviously for the uh, fan, inside fan, I didn't open the laptop, uh, but I do experience uh, from my other laptop uh, thing, but you need like a tiny screws to open the heatsink to clean the fans and make sure to plug out the battery to clean because it might hurt your battery and give like a static electricity to your uh, laptop's motherboard, which is not really good for uh, if you are planning to use this laptop for five years or even more and yeah other than that uh, like I could say uh, if you guys uh, really struggling between like uh, this laptop with four gigs version and uh, six gigs VRAM version let's say you want to buy uh, RTX 30, 30, 3050 and 3060 you are like between that and uh, I would say go for RTX 3060 even though you are gonna waste a lot of money. Like, trust me guys, I do experience from 4 gigs VRAM laptops. I mean, if you are not really uh, going for other than gaming, DLSS could help enough your laptop to uh, increase your FPS. But other than that, you are gonna have a lot of GPU bottleneck in the long term. Like, I'm not really kidding guys, if you are trying to play like uh, games in even the lower quality I don't think it's really like you are really gonna get low performance no matter what and uh, 6 gigs VRAM extra like once you make it 6 gigs VRAM that's like a, I guess you can say like a sweet spot to get the 6 gigs VRAM version of it don't don't get the 4 gigs VRAM I could say like if you can't even afford the RTX 3060 model and if you find like RTX 20 like yeah, 26 let's say like a one generation older model and you're like comparing between uh, like 3050 to 2060 I would recommend you to go to previous version even though the CPU is also lower it doesn't really matter if you are planning to get better visuals and uh, better performance uh, like not getting any bottleneck like you should really try to like limit yourself to six uh, gigs VRAM minimum. Uh, that's in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe you guys are uh, only playing eSport titles, that type of stuff. Uh, four gigs VRAM will be enough to, I guess, in lower qualities. Like it will be probably enough to play that games too. But in uh, you will definitely get like some instabilities probably. Uh, like I'm, I'm experienced from uh, GTX 1650 laptop and uh, 3050 laptop. I also tried that one too. 
like uh, there is not really a huge difference between uh, 1650 uh, other than DLSS. DLSS is like the game changer for it, I know. But uh, other than DLSS, like you are really not uh, putting yourself in a good position. Yeah, that would be my uh, thing for people who is want to buy uh, four gigs VRAM uh, GPU or six gigs VRAM GPU. Or uh, there's also one thing for people who's like uh, really confused between Max P GPU and uh, Max Q GPU. Now, right now probably there are no Max Q GPUs, but uh, there is a thing called like uh, they lower the TGP, which is like a graphics card value, like the power limit, and that's um, that's not even says Max Q, but you are still getting like a lower wattage uh, GPU. In order to find that clearly, you can check. Sometimes they mention in the websites of the like brands they sell. Let's say when I buy this Lenovo Legion Five Pro, uh, like uh, if I bought the RTX 3070 model Pro, Pro option obviously, it will be 140 watts uh, the TGP maximum, and this guy will uh, this guy have like 130 uh, watts of GPU. And uh, if you guys want to buy non-pro RTX 3070, you still get like uh, RTX uh, 3070 with 130 watts of TGP value, which is like minus uh, 10, but you're getting non-pro. Uh, like, I guess lower TGP is 10 is not really a big difference, but you are if you are still getting, like, still paying money for the max P value, don't don't buy the non uh, like uh, non max P version. Okay, just try to. Uh, afford the ones that you can uh, get like max p option let's say uh, i guess for rtx 3060 the max uh, value was 115 and uh, with the 3060 it was 130 and i guess in the 2022 they tell something about the newer model of the 22 model of this Lenovo Legion 5 pro will have uh, i guess 150 watts 150 watts i i think like that's what that's what i heard i don't know if they're gonna really do that and yeah, that's uh, pretty much, I guess, I can cover for GPU, like for if you guys want to buy that. And uh, let's say if you, like this is also one of the most important questions people ask like, uh, is uh, like 2K in Full HD blurry? Well, I experienced from uh, playing games and that type of stuff, uh, I can definitely see like a uh, stop getting like uh, not really sharp anymore. It's like getting uh, not duller, but it's like getting softer. And what I mean, like uh, once you start playing game, uh, probably you can understand that way. Maybe my explanation will not be uh, precise enough. I tried the Valorant in different resolutions, and I see like uh, like some. If, if I lower the resolution, like in gaming, it's like a re really minimal difference. But if you try to watch a YouTube video in 1080p you will definitely see like it doesn't really matter what codec uh, the YouTube video has or you can try other videos as well I also test them too in 1080p you definitely see like uh, uh, pixels looking weird a little bit because of it's like a 2k monitor that's quite normal if you watch everything in 2k resolution uh, 1440p I, I guess I can say or 1600p resolution doesn't really matter you still get like a black bars if you watch it in uh, 2k and like 1440p and uh, 1080p obviously like in any resolution that's not supported 16.10 you still get black bars uh, if you watch video but in games it's like kind of stretched itself out which is like quite cool at first i was quite surprised to see that you are imagine like you are getting like 16 inch lap, uh, laptop but you are getting the benefit of uh, using like full HD resolution in high scale, which is quite cool. Uh, some people may be telling about that, uh, like an issue if you are like looking at a very small screen, like 15, uh, 15 15.6 inch laptop maybe. And yeah, that's like something to also talk about. And I did like uh, uh, tests for the CPU and I guess in GPU, if you guys didn't watch those videos as well, uh, like, you can also watch them i recommend you guys to watch them to see how much performance there like i don't really understand when i see the results there because i don't had any laptop that was literally my first time benchmarking and yeah if i if i sound a little bit noob i'm sorry guys like it's literally my beginning uh, of these type of stuff but i really investigate a lot when i buy my own laptop i check like literally everything i can check 
and uh, for the coil wire and backlight bleed for people who wants to buy this laptop um, I could say like there is no coil wine or black backlight bleed for my unit I could say that but you might be unlucky to get like uh, a device that has that issue because I see in YouTube some people get it and other people didn't get what could I recommend you guys if you have a refund policy after buying like in maybe one week or two weeks uh, check the laptop uh, I could recommend you guys to do like an antivirus test in full scan that will make your uh, laptop CPU ramp up to check like uh, if there's like a CPU related throttling issues or like um, like a coil wind stuff if that's happening or not and if if that if, if you don't have that issue uh, you can also try GPU benchmark to check uh, your GPU have any coil wind sound coming uh, I guess you can use heaven ray benchmark which is I used uh, in like extreme mode and basic mode and yeah th that's like probably gonna help you a lot uh, before uh, if you miss out any options to like give it back I guess you can try the warranty too but uh, warranty is quite iffy some countries like they don't really accept they have like their own policies in other countries like you can just give it and they give you option to repair and exchange that's like quite cool but if you really want to get your full refund I recommend you guys to uh, check the let's say like check in the uh, like two weeks or one week uh, like refund option when it's available and for the speakers uh, I mean it's quite normal it's not like a, a really like high performance like like it's like a decent laptop and the speakers is I could say adequate like it's like a not really uh, well if you try to lower the like higher the volume there, there's a little bit distortion coming but it's really better than the Alienware's R1 <laughs> speakers like that's what I could say it's like very very better than that uh, very like good gooder than gooder than, <laughs> oh my god my English very very better than like uh, yeah better than that I, I, I could say better than Alienware R1 uh, speaker it, it has like very weird issue and uh, but my uh, laptop's uh, speaker is good but I don't know maybe you guys are lucky to get like a worse audio speaker in your setup like in your system you could also check that by, while literally opening a video and with the max volume on and for the webcam it has like 720p webcam I don't really recommend uh, if you are trying to start YouTube stuff with this webcam or like uh, I guess it's okay for let's say you want to make uh, zoom calls that type of stuff it's it's uh, it's okay but don't don't try to do YouTube stuff with this webcam it's not really <laughs> I, don't, I don't really recommend it buy like a, uh, either try your phone maybe or try like other stuff that would be very very like well worth it I, I could say and yeah other than that uh, as you guys can see I'm uh, trying like I'm using a laptop stand uh, like you can also try coolers that type of stuff too uh, I'm what I'm doing I'm uplifting the laptop 15 or maybe a little more than that degree to improve the cooling of the laptop that really helps uh, if you literally use your laptop on the desk Th that's like gonna heat up the ground not really recommended if you are gonna game on that you're probably gonna if in winter in winter that would be a good option but <laughs> not in summer uh, that I'm, I don't recommend doing that in summer because that's gonna that's gonna really uh, make some damages uh, not in maybe it won't really make long uh, damages but uh, if you uh, touch the ground your finger probably gonna hurt from that heat if that uh, like regenerates that much heat and for the dusts uh, I, I again said in the being beginning uh, there's like a dust filter on the bottom of the laptop that helps to not get dust uh, like I guess it slows that uh, time to get dust inside but I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna dust gonna reach that uh, even though like uh, it's gonna slow it it doesn't matter dust is like lord of everything it's gonna take parts in everything I'm gonna take here I'm gonna take here I'm gonna conquer here I'm gonna conquer your laptop I'm gonna conquer your life like literally it, it can happen in your lungs maybe I don't know like it, it's literally in everywhere so dust can happen what I recommend if you uh, still have the warranty you can uh, give to manufacturer to like open the laptops back and uh, clean by themselves if you don't have the warranty yet like if, or the warranty is already uh, overdue uh, like 
finish what you can do you can open by yourself but uh, i still recommend you guys to like uh, if you are not experienced uh, give laptop to someone that uh, has experience but if uh, let's say even though that guy will be certificated uh, like person to like you are maybe giving your laptop a service i would recommend you to stay with him till repair like done you may never know what's gonna happen uh, maybe like some pieces are gone from your laptop <laughs> like i uh, i don't know in some countries that that's like quite interesting story but i do really recommend if you can check the laptop uh, while in the repairing place like stay there and check and like if uh, you see like all parts are in it inside then yeah take it back and yeah that's what i want to say for dust or like if you can clean by yourself that's like you don't really need to do that uh, but yeah make sure to uh, take out the battery while doing that too because that also can uh, regenerate static electricity for that and yeah for the weight uh, that's like a, also another question quite interesting question uh, for the handbags like if you try to carry like in a briefcase that would uh, like if you're walking with that briefcase too uh, i don't really recommend doing that probably that's gonna hurt your uh, like hand uh, <laughs> for the long time if you are like holding for a long time your arms probably gonna uh, hurt but that, that would depends on what charger uh, you have too like mine right now as you guys can see this is like a 230 watts charger I, like I got lucky with this one I guess in my box like in my uh, like uh, in my like uh, opening unboxing video I got this uh, 230 watts charger i mean adapter and like if i don't know if you guys can see clearly like my camera is might be uh, weird uh, like uh, with this you are uh, like reducing the weight like kind of 20 percent i would say like that 300 brick is very huge and uh, i could say se minus 70 watts uh, for the i guess if you don't use like a a lot of devices let's say your keyboard your phone charging from the laptop as well that type of stuff this is really enough to do everything like uh, I, I i did test for uh, as i said six or eight months something like that i, I can't even remember clearly but uh, when i like use my keyboard and my headset and that type of stuff i don't really see a battery draining uh, for the long time I do see sometimes battery goes down and recharges up that's quite normal because uh, it's like a behavior of the battery if you are using for a long time and guys by the way speaking about the battery I do recommend you guys to use the in the power conservative mode uh, in the Lenovo Vantage software which is like uh, uh, helping your uh, laptop's battery long longevity for let's say uh, you, you want to reach it to 100% what's gonna happen you're gonna lose full charge capacity much faster than you because it registers uh, each uh, full capacity as like cycle in your laptop it's like a system behavior i do recommend you guys to uh, enable full uh, like enable power conservation mode to help your laptop to increase lifespan of the battery or if you guys don't care you can if you are rich enough to buy <laughs> an initial battery then go for it uh, I, 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 I don't know what to say uh, now I don't really remember uh, the battery capacity of the laptop uh, sorry guys like there are so many things I I have in my mind but uh, I could say either it has like 60 watt or 80 watt something like that uh, like like something between that either 80 watt hours or 60 watt hours like i don't think it's 60 because uh like i do remember i had the amd version of the previous model uh rtx 360 it has 60 watt hour battery it was quite small this one seems to be uh i think it's 80 watt hour battery yeah uh, i hope i'm not saying it wrong but yeah uh, now for the battery let's say you want to get the highest battery possible um i do recommend you guys to disable no enable uh, hybrid graphics let's say you you have the amd graphics open that and uh, disable your brightness to yeah about the brightness i'm gonna also talk about that too uh, 25 to 15 percent at least that would be uh, i recommend if you guys go full all the way you will also like lose a little bit hours to like your battery life 
and um, like disable lid like you can disable the lid light by pressing append uh, L and uh, reduce the refresh rate from 165 Hertz to 60 uh, 60 Hertz uh, by pressing append R append L for the lid append R for the uh, um, for the uh, refresh rate of the laptop and uh, like you can also uh, like disable the keyboard backlight from uh, again from the shortcut keys on the laptop that's also help uh, with the battery longevity you also put the battery mode to power saver and uh, I recommend you guys to put your laptop resolution in I guess full HD because uh, if you go for 2k in this resolution you still gonna uh, like your battery is still gonna go faster and uh, I guess you can undervolt your GPU too from uh, like a I guess MSI afterburner program you can just lower the wattage that your GPU takes that is uh, not gonna like I guess that's take out of the performance uh, from your laptop but it is fine you are you are trying to get the best uh, battery life so yeah uh, since you if you find a stable value in your GPU uh, that's gonna help you a lot with uh, battery life and uh, you can disable turbo boost by uh, I guess you can use like a secondary apps like um, what they called uh, throttle stop that can also you can just one click uh, disable turbo boost uh, or you can go to like your battery settings but in order to unlock that you need to make like a, a path I actually made a video about that you can check in the uh, in my channel what you basically do you are just going to your reg edit and you find a file and uh, once you enable something on that file uh, to make one there's like in battery uh, turbo boost something like that unlocks and all you need to do is just turn that off and your CPU will use 3.2 gigahertz instead of uh, like going higher so that's also helping with battery life maybe a little bit performance loss but it doesn't matter you are still want to get that uh, sweet battery so yeah and uh, other than that uh, like I still trying to remember what we can do uh, yeah I said the power saver and disable background apps that's also gonna help a lot if you want to get the highest uh, battery life and yeah I don't know if there's any oh yeah, yeah I remember uh, there's like three fan modes in this laptop performance and balance and quiet I do recommend you guys to put uh, uh, mode in quiet to get the best battery life because Quiet is also reducing the CPU cores and the background apps type of stuff, increasing the battery. That's also really recommended. And for the fan noise, uh, I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but I said something about the coil line, but I don't remember I said anything about the fan noise. In balanced, I do still hear um, the 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 fans a little bit. In performance, uh, like I guess the balance and performance quite same, but in performance sometimes once you open a game the Fans are way louder than the uh, the balance mode, but uh, how loud? If you ask me, I guess it's loud enough to like you can hear the fans. That's that, that's the thing. But for the decibels, I don't know how much. Like if you use a headset, you definitely get rid of the audio. You you definitely not gonna hear if you're not really open, uh, like open lid. If you if you don't use like open style headset, uh, like. There is definitely no chance for you to hear the fan noise in performance but if you're like uh, using like an open style headset instead of a closed style one uh, i guess you can still hear a little bit but the sound is still enough to like the game sound or stuff you are doing still enough to balance that so there's like a less chance for you to hear that and um, i'm still thinking if, if there's anything more i could say about the laptop um, there's also one thing that lap this laptop have, like Canal Legion 5 Pro, my, my wife, <laughs> I'm joking, uh, uh, HDR, HDR is a high dynamic range, uh, which is like a technology, allows you to use your laptop uh, with the better color, uh, like better color accuracy, I would say, like the colors are pop up more if you use that mode, and it really helps with the, uh, if you use like let's say if your laptop has this IPS glow thingy covering your laptop if you use it without the HDR off you can enable that to the same like get rid of the backlight completely from your uh, laptop but my, my unit do, don't have backlight mode so I'm fine with that I don't really open HDR mode I don't really recommend you guys to use the HDR in games but it really depends on 
what type of people play like for me i i recommend performance higher performance is the best thing uh, i want to i want to do so i want to get so i disable the hdr if you enable hdr i guess i tested in the valorant you guys can check in the uh, youtube like literally like i test all the resolutions with hdr on with H without hdr uh, you can see the performance how much difference there uh, and how much changes there like game is like becoming very bright if you enable the hdr and uh, screen is also getting a little bit brighter than usual because of the colors are popping up uh, like if you're let's say trying to use it for the content creation or maybe watching for movies i do recommend hdr on hdr on is for that a good reason to use but for stuff you are gonna use that requires high performance don't do that you're you're gonna torture your laptop uh, a little bit not really much but a little bit uh, that's what i could say for hdr like yeah other than that um um i'm trying to see like if there's anything i could say um there's like two options of this laptop basically if you uh, like a stingray white and uh storm gray i guess that's the other option uh like for mine the backlight light is actually teal like not a uh, white color i don't have rgb sorry guys my laptop has I, my, my laptop don't have like high performance i'm sorry like my laptop only have <laughs> my laptop only have teal light <laughs> like i don't get the full performance of my laptop i'm sorry like you need rgb for increasing performance okay <laughs> uh, and you need to you need to go to antarctica to get the best cooling in your <laughs> <laughs> okay okay um, yeah no, no need to joke about it don't go don't uh, say these things at least seriously uh, instead of the other ones that i say like these are not really that much important and yeah uh, for the performance wise i could say you are still getting uh, higher fps in esport titles than the screen refresh rate uh, at least i guess in call of duty uh, like the, if you if you play in regular call of duty i guess you can still get lower fps uh, but if you enable the dlss i guess it can be go higher than the screen refresh rate on the 65 hertz and uh, like for the gpu intensive games like cyberpunk that type of stuff well i don't really try that type of games actually but i do know from people who is literally making a lot of benchmarks on gaming type of stuff uh, i do see like uh, like your laptop's gonna use gpu a lot and i guess increasing ram for that reason i already explained that too like uh, if you're gonna plan on playing that type of games don't upgrade your ram to extra like getting 10 to 15 percent extra it it really don't really got much worth but let's say if you want to plan on doing cpu intensive tasks go for it man go for it buy buy the best i guess you can buy the uh, which one kingston uh, i don't remember what model it was but it was cl20 ram which was one of the fastest i could find and 1.2 watts which is like a ideal for amd like amd likes ram what can i say like if you have better ram amd gonna uh, get benefits from it and uh, if you guys don't know how to find uh, your ram is slow or uh, fast there's an app called zen timings and I use that app to find my uh, laptop has fast or slow RAM and uh, what you see you need to check the TR TRFC which is like a, uh, something that has these numbers in, uh, like you can check the people uh, in the YouTube like what TRFC, TRFC modes they have let's say if uh, you have lower TRFC it's better if you have higher then you have the uh, RX 16 slow RAM unfortunately and that's how I found my uh, own laptop to have that now for the best performance settings uh, for the GPU some people actually ask this in the comment section what I do I uh, put my GPU in performance mode uh, instead of there, there's like quality and performance in the like slider I do put in performance mode it doesn't really matter if you play in quality or performance in the game's official settings in NVIDIA control panel I always go to performance performance is a way to go <clears throat> and uh, there are four major settings I change in the maybe five it depends on the laptop uh, in the manage 3d settings what I do I change ambient occlusion to 
uh, performance it, it's off i always put that the performance it's like help uh, with the ambient occlusion uh, type of games to increase performance and i put the texture quality to high performance which is like texture filtering there's like a setting there and i do put my opengl settings to nvidia gpu instead of auto select and i do put like that auto select option to high graphics nvidia gpu and uh, yeah i do also make uh, preferred refresh rate for the I, I do uh, choose the highest available since 165 hertz is the laptop display I want to get the highest one and uh, for the let me see for the power management mode I always select the prefer maximum performance for the GPU and also from the settings I always choose the high performance uh, in the battery settings you can also do like right click and check the Windows Mobility Center and that will also have the options to if you can't find in the battery uh, settings you can find there that's like uh, also helps with the uh, battery but there's like a quite weird issue every time i reboot my laptop uh, it always put the balance i have to tweak it out i found a video about that to solve it i do recommend you guys to check it if you are also annoying with that to switch it all the time to balance from the performance like it's it may be annoying to you too for me it's quite annoying so i found like a I could uh, like find a command and that command actually uh, in the CMD removes that. I can't remember it right now, but I do recommend you guys to check it out uh, from the YouTube videos you found. And I do recommend you guys to disable hibernate mode. That will give you extra storage in the SSD and it's also like disabling the hybrid mode basically, hibernate mode. Um, other than that, I'm still trying to do my best to remember uh, what there is to increase performance. Well, there is like a Ryzen controller app. I don't use it, but if you really want to get the best performance, I do recommend you guys to use that program as well, because that's like the AMD uh, like option. You can not, not overclock, but a little give boost to your laptop. And that probably gives like one to two FPS extra or maybe more. And yeah. Hmm. like i also want to ask you guys like if you have anything uh, you want to know in the comment section because uh, like obviously i'm talking here for a long time i can say like most of the stuff in, about this laptop but i do really need to know what you guys need to provide you that type of content in the uh, technology uh, stuff and uh, by the way i do remember right now uh, some guys have issue with the hinge well, uh, lucky for me, my laptop don't have that hinge issue. Uh, like I, I do do it gently because I don't want to deal uh, any bad damage to my laptop. And uh, I do really not see any wobbling or like, uh, yeah, while typing, I don't really see any wobbling. And for my hinge, like uh, it, I don't have like broken or that type of issue. Uh, maybe you are unlucky with your type of uh, setup or system, like you can, give it to warranty i hope that helps or if you are uh, under the uh, refund uh, days you can just give as a refund and take your refund back like money back that's that's uh, that's uh, what i recommend and yeah other than uh, if you're reaching like higher temperatures i do recommend you guys to disable turbo boost and uh, i really need to mention this uh, Oh my god there is like video if you watch that video in the like down uh, like bottom of my channel uh, bottom side of my channel you can just scroll down and you can probably find that there it says like overclocking the gpu and undervolting the cpu uh, there, there will be like a undervolting uh, like you, you you go to basically uh, reg edit and you click there you find the battery options and uh, the like oh my god I can't really I can't really explain it right now. You need to watch the video, guys. I'm sorry. I, I'm really trying my best to explain it, but once you go there uh, and click that, uh, once you enable like disable the uh, like turbo boost, your temperatures are gonna lower by 10 to 15 at least. Uh, I could say. Also, it depends on the country where where you're using. If you are using in like a savanna desert, uh, I'm joking, guys. <laughs> yeah, like if you are using in a very hot country. Uh, maybe it's like not really highly effective but uh, yeah other than that you can use the whisper mode to get lower temps a little bit but I don't really recommend you guys to use that type of stuff uh, even though the technology is there you can use it by clicking 
you can test it out too if you guys uh, want like that way to use it then use that too that probably helps out a bit too but i don't really recommend to use the nvidia whisper mode and uh, for the overclocking uh, I, I couldn't overclock the G cpu which is like uh, locked from the bios settings but uh, i do enable the gpu overclock that's available in my bios and once i click there uh, there's like this uh, like my laptop mode is going to red which is like the performance mode and it only happens in once i plug the uh, like charger uh, once i plug it and i i found it there like uh, the overclock is enabled and uh, i don't enable the advanced overclock because uh, i also open my overclock settings in the um what what, what uh, like nvidia geforce experience and uh, there is like um, there, if you enable the experimental features once you click alt z there will be like a, a performance tab in the right top and once you click that there will be like a advanced tuning and what it does you basically wait for 10 to 15 or maybe more than that it's like a make safe overclock uh, value and i combine that with my base overclock from the bios i don't go advanced as i said like in the bios uh, so it will it have like a, a small stable overclock also you can if you are like a pro in the uh, overclocking you can try msi afterburner to find a stable uh, like gpu value to before the gpu gets crashed obviously what you can do you can just lower your uh, well voltages a, a little bit to find or increase like to find that stable value till it crashes then go back once and you are the safe uh, safe value there but yeah if you don't uh, if you are scared to do that obviously this is uh, i guess way safer to do it and way easier all you need to just click the buttons and it's it just do the things for you and yeah now i talk about that too i'm really trying to find if there's anything i could tell more let me uh, one second sorry guys i get like a water break uh, a little bit i i had to my throat was drying i have like a very huge tonsils in my mouth and yeah uh, <laughs> uh, about the i remember about the screen brightness uh, like this is actually one of the reasons to buy this laptop because it has 500 nits screen brightness uh, which is I guess anything higher than 300 or like 300 is also a good value for the high screen brightness it also depends on the technology since my laptop has anti-matte display the display quite looks uh, not bright as it looked like but let's say if you have like a uh, what was it OLED screen which is like probably no screen right now can capable of OLED gaming with high refresh rate but yeah OLED screens are way brighter and way accurate with the colors and uh, they don't have like backlight bleed issues or that type of stuff but they do have like a color burn uh, problems in some of the devices like that would affect the longevity maybe and yeah about the uh, like brightness I do recommend like I, I don't really make it 100% all the time because it is like it hurts my eyes when I looked at it uh, but for the outside use uh, I don't think it really makes that much a difference uh, when you put it in the sunlight that's hitting to your laptop but uh, let's say it's like a okay uh, lighting light levels for like uh, it's like better than at least 300 to go outside and use it in like a place that, that like literally a sun hitting to your laptop screen and yeah you you can still see a little bit like uh, a little better than the 300 at least i i could say that and uh like should i recommend this laptop to people uh, who can afford the pro model uh, well i mean non-pro model <laughs> well like as i said there is one issue that matters which is the screen resolution in lower displays uh, like what i experience uh, i do had like a lenovo ideapad uh, 720 uh, one of my f like second laptops i guess i could say it had 4k display but the problem was i when i try to watch full hd or 2k or like anything lower than uh, like 4k like i see like two three hundred. 3840 to 
2560 resolution I mean everything looks like uh, 360p or not 144p but everything quite looks like for me 360p in videos which is quite sad like I know there are a lot of pixels that is showing in the laptop maybe that's the reason why and I don't really like that to be honest uh, and if you guys gonna get higher resolution for like watching videos and uh, films uh, I do see like a little bit uh, like uh, not good quality in the YouTube videos and the videos I watch without the YouTube like they look quite weird but uh, that's only for me uh, in gaming I don't really see that difference I don't know why they like this is uh, this has to happen with the high resolution monitors maybe because of the high pixel count maybe that's that's probably the reason and yeah if you guys definitely looking for a full HD uh, display that's like if you're gonna plan to use only full HD display for your entire life and basically like you're getting the best performance and the battery with that display probably too uh, like go for the non-pro model it's probably going to be cheaper and uh, like you won't get that problem of like pixelated a little bit videos you know like I guess you need to see by your eyes to uh, understand what I'm saying uh, anything other than that like uh, it's a little bit heavy heavier side it's a little bit on the heavier side the, the laptop is a little heavier side even though I have the 230 watts uh, like cable I do feel like it's quite on the heavier side I do recommend you guys to use like backpack like uh, I do have mine right here I could show you like, this is like my backpack it, it looks quite bigger actually I don't know if you guys can see it right now <laughs> uh, it helps with your at least arm pain like your back is not gonna hurt that much while carrying it inside the back and uh, you probably can carry a mouse and uh, the key like maybe keyboard with and the charger brick with yourself if you use like a backpack instead of a handbag like that, that's 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 much uh, pretty much I recommend and uh, if you like this for a tip for people who is like uh, having this dust issues uh, I tested this uh, like I basically see from someone from India uh, my like there is like one person from India showed me this what he does he basically puts like a little blanket that's like very light it also helps with the mos mosquitoes mos mosquitoes bugs let's say to not get bite and uh, once uh, once he is, he's done he basically put it that way and like it also helped with um, not dust to appear in, inside the laptop and yeah that's what I recommend for people who is having dust issues with the laptop uh, like I, I get it it's like a white color laptop so it, it can show the dirt much easier but that's also a good advantage so you can always clean your laptop when it gets dirty and it gets dist disturbing to you you know like let's say if you get like a black color laptop and uh, it's, it's getting dirty but you don't understand it looks quite weird but you don't understand so you maybe don't want to clean but don't get lazy guys it's like pretty easy like all you need to do just use a cloth and clean and basically that's that's pretty much it i don't really see like a huge problem oh my god my laptop is so dirty what what should i do what how can i clean this like <laughs> this is not a the, that big uh, type of issue you know and um i do really think like if there's anything i have in my mind i could say like uh, <laughs> I, I also like I wish I tried to test that 1080p and 2k difference but uh, not like I don't really seem like a, a point for that you guys need to see for your own eyes because sometimes web like camera can't really identify the things that you can see with your own eye that's what I can see say but for the backlight bleed if you want you guys want to test backlight bleed uh, for your laptop you can just open a black uh, screen that's like completely black and what you can do is basically um, uh, like um, hire the brightness and try in the back room like black room not back room like darker room and uh, what you see like in the corners you try to find like a, a very sharp uh, looking white stuff in the lids if you find them that means you might have backlight bleeds but uh, let's say if you just find like a uh, glowing lights in the corners a little bit that's IPS glow that's quite normal there's nothing to worry about if you guys really worry about that um, I guess return it and 
maybe you are lucky with the other uh, one that you find but they usually uh, are equal in the corners of the laptop so we are fine with that i don't think that would be really a big issue and i do really need to say this if you want to really uh, play in the game like games uh, like i test in igpu mode it's obviously not really makes sense a lot uh, like there is uh, in some games i a little bit seen performance increase uh, for cpu bound maybe that's why or maybe it's using like a like all of the stuff inside the laptop maybe that's helping a little bit but not really for everything i do recommend but for some uh, game test i did uh, for igpu there's like i see a little bit uh, like uh, performance increasement for only some games not for everything maybe that was uh, like a stability of the laptop itself i don't know um, maybe that was the issue and uh, for the guys who is trying to upgrade to windows 10 from windows 11, from windows 10 to windows 11 um, i don't really recommend you guys to win do windows 11 just yet wait a little bit wait uh, till it gets stabilized because uh, I, I am like a person let's say if i can use windows 7 right now i could definitely use windows 7 right now because i like the stable beautiful old satisfying uh, like operating systems i do even like windows xp but i do recommend windows 7 but sadly newer systems not really support that anymore they really remove the support if you're lucky with some ebay or that type of stuff you can maybe get a windows 7 laptop and you can embrace it my precious my precious you you're also my precious i love you and yeah <laughs> um other than that uh, like don't upgrade just yet wait for a little bit and uh, the reason why as i said like windows 11 still have like some st instability issues like i see sometimes it's happening and sometimes it's not it's like really depending on the system i guess intel uh, if you yeah, yeah if you guys have like 12th gen cpu i guess you don't really have any issue with windows 11 but if you're using like an amd cpu like my current system i don't really recommend to go windows 11 just yet because of uh, like i don't see any better reasons to use it right now um, since like windows 10 is still a stable one yeah but i guess you can still if you let's say if you want to go windows 11 uh, you can still go back there's like a, some uh, time to go back again but uh, keep that in mind your hard drive is also filled with windows 10 data in order to transfer back to windows 10 if you want to do it so you can also test it by yourself if you guys want the uh, find these annoying bugs and yeah you can just go back by yourself don't really uh, yeah don't really need to see my recommend here if you if you want to test by yourself okay um other than that i'm, I'm really trying to find something oh my god i wish like if i can find like so many stuff oh yeah one of the good reasons again uh, this laptop has uh, four usb uh, like gen type uh, gen 3.1 a four four of them that's really good like you're using basically carrying a usb hub and i really recommend you guys to like if you guys uh, getting like a type c type of stuff mainly don't don't get like that uh, type of stuff because usb is uh, like uh, bigger ones at least 3.1 is much better option in my opinion don't uh, like that's probably difference in uh, other guys opinion other people's opinion i rather have more usb slots than more type c slots like because i do use my microphone that support uh, usb oh no i mean headset not, oh my god headset that supports microphone my uh, dedicated keyboard that uses microphone and uh, that uses usb oh my god my mind my mind is messing up right now and uh, my mouse that's also using usb i guess if you really get like something that has three usb slots you're not really in bad situation but if you really need more usb ports i guess uh, you can buy a usb hub to help yourself but that also means that you need to get like a better charging adapter because uh, 330 watts uh, one is i don't think that's gonna support that much <laughs> device at once it's like bro stop torturing me you're torturing me stop it like, like that that's not really gonna help a lot i don't know how much time it take right now to say everything but uh, i want it to be as explanatory as i can and yeah
I, I rate this laptop out of 10 to 8.5. It really gets that 8.5 because uh, of the concerns I said. Like if you are, uh, if you are not really used to 2K screens, and uh, you are gonna definitely see that pixelated thing. And yeah, that's pr pretty much the thing that concerns me. And uh, the weight a little bit concerns me too. Uh, if you are gonna carry. But th that's only for the 300 watt adapter. Mine is a little bit lighter. Like uh, you are gonna lose 70 watts power, but you are gonna still not getting like a huge break. You are gonna get like a, a little bit smaller break, like this you see. And uh, the reason why I give like 8.5, it's basically like that's also another reason. And one more reason, maybe the fan noise itself. Like it's not that loud, I get it. But uh, let's say if I want to use the performance mode, uh, I guess I can use my headset, I know that's also an option. But let's say I want to use the laptop speaker to test the music, you know. I want to see the latency mode and that type of stuff. It is really uh, audible, like as I said before, it's uh, like uh, you can still hear it. Uh, if you use the headset, you can't, you, you can't hear. But, but open ear, you can still hear it, but the audio, if you use it in the, uh, like something, if you use audio, it will probably block that uh, fan noise uh, so you can still hear like music that type of stuff that helps but uh, yeah you can still hear the audio without the headset uh, fan noise fan noise without the headset and yeah that's that's why i give 8.5 over 10 that's still a good uh, score in my opinion like i do remember uh, non pro models i get uh, they do have a backlight issue uh, at least one of them had it and the other one was quite normal I don't have any issue with that and uh, for the people who is planning to choose between Intel option and the AMD option if you guys can find it obviously because right now I'm like I'm really losing hope from markets right now we don't really uh, in Poland at least I bought this in Poland uh, there's not really really much option that I, we can found in laptop uh, like marketing here but maybe if you guys have access to Lenovo official website you're lucky then try your uh, luck in the official website to uh, buy one because in here we have to rely on third uh, level markets which is like XCOM, RTV, RAI, AGD and there are like more that type of Computronic is one of them uh, yeah if, if they don't have it then we have to wait or we have to find any alternative laptops and speaking of the alternative I guess uh, I, I don't know like there is no really that better alternative for this laptop like if you want to get all these specs in one laptop I'm really trying to find a laptop that has G-Sync, HDR and that type of stuff everything inside I feel like maybe Gigabyte uh, have I don't know if it has everything enough maybe like there's always something missing they have it in the Lenovo but in the other brands there's always something missing and that makes me annoying some of them don't have max switch some of them don't have maybe hdr but, but i don't really care about the hdr uh, for the like for the longevity like I, I i'm really fine with the regular screen that's like a gimmick extra you are having and but g-sync is important uh, for me at least i don't know for others uh, but i can still live without the g-sync too if i have like a really good system like let's say i have like a better performance system maybe like a RTX 3070 Ti and maybe Intel 12th gen like I don't really uh, see the point of getting G-Sync in that mode because at that point you are still <laughs> gonna support all the games at a higher quality no matter regardless yeah and other than that yeah uh, for the performance go for the Intel for the battery life go for the AMD you are still gonna get 8 to, uh, like for the maximum I remember I reached like nine hours I'm sorry I couldn't record that because that means I have to hold my camera in my laptop to or maybe put it in somewhere to wait for it to drain but I'm obviously cannot make like a nine hour of recording <laughs> that's uh, like gonna take out of the time to edit but uh, you can try it by yourself my I got lucky with my unit to get nine hours at least and maybe you get like uh, 8 30 or 730 somewhere between every battery is different same as every cpu like uh, you can if you can undervolt the cpus uh, like some of them undervolt at 100 some of them undervolt at 95 some of them maybe undervolt at 235 like 
every CPUs you need. So yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry guys, if you if I talk so much uh, like uh, useless stuff in this video, like I'm trying to do my best to uh, tell everything about my perspective for this laptop. But uh, other than that, yeah, I do recommend this laptop for uh, people who is who wants to buy it. Despite the fact that two reasons to not buy it, if you guys are a full HD resolution person to uh, trying to adapt to the new screen like this type of screen uh, stay with that or you can still get this and if you have extra money left you can buy a monitor or better idea if you uh, have a non-pro model of this laptop and you still get a monitor that has like maybe higher than this refresh rate and that still supports g-sync and um, hdr that's also a plus i'm not gonna say no for that like at any point you're still getting like better value and like with non-pro and yeah but if you are like a person i want to have everything inside my laptop i don't use any external things i want to get the best keyboard best uh, camera best lightning best uh, like that type of thing best cooling like go for the pro uh, and yeah like about that i forgot to mention this laptop has one of the best uh, wi-fi cards i ever seen uh, like as a proof if you guys watch the jared's tech video uh, I have the RTX 3060 model of the, uh, like that model uh, he made, 2021 option. It's actually like one of the, I think the second or third, uh, like best Wi-Fi cards it has. And it also astounds me because I'm way away from the router. I'm still getting very fast, uh, like response from the Wi-Fi card. That's also one of our good reason to buy this laptop. We are still getting like a uh, better Wi-Fi card, but with non-pro, I think you are gonna get like a uh, not really good real tech Wi-Fi card. Yeah, that's that's not really cool. But let's say if you are gonna use the cable, you are, if you are like a cable person, I'm gonna get the best Wi-Fi speed in the world. No one can stop me. Wi-Fi is trash. Like just plug the key, like a cable, and that's you are still fine. But the thing is about the cable. Every time you need to plug out for going outside, you need to lift the laptop a little bit to plug it out. That's uh, like. Uh, I guess something to like small thing to I guess worry about yeah you, most people may don't care I so also <laughs> also I do recommend you guys to my throat is drying sorry uh, one second you know what I'm gonna like let my water be near me so while I uh, talk about the laptop it would be much better for my um, my uh, throat to not get dry that fast yeah, as I said, I do recommend you guys to get uh, a, at least a cheap laptop stand or if you guys have enough money, you can get a better adjustable cooler stand maybe because cooler have additional um, like cooling. You can find in, I guess, our textiles video. He's the one also uh, like mentioning me in uh, his live streams. He's like an amazing guy. You can also support his channel. Yeah, uh, you can get like a adjustable um, uh, laptop stand like one i use i also gonna make a review of this laptop stand too just wait for it i'm sorry guys like uh, as i said <laughs> i'm repeating this uh, section like three times in the video i'm sorry um, like the model i'm using is tokmali laptop stand which is uh, good for 17.3 uh, inch and 15 to 14 i don't know if it is still good enough for 13 inch laptops too uh, I, I have the video for unboxing, you guys can check, I guess, the link for buying there too. Uh, but there's one thing to I need to say, it too wobbles uh, once I use the laptop stand. So let's say if you have external keyboard while using, uh, that's the best way to use this uh, like laptop stand. Uh, other than that, if you use it, like let's say, I'm gonna try it like, it's a little bit wobbling like maybe it's not noticeable in the camera once I press these uh, keys uh, like this a little bit wobbles uh, but there's also another way you can put like a uh, lift something like heavy on the stand to not get it wobbly that's not like a budget solution for make it non wobbly but the laptop itself the screen is definitely not wobbles once you press the keyboards that type of stuff it's like one of the best hinges I've seen on a laptop uh, and I think it's like you can uh, 
go for very long years i hope so if people like not wham, psham, wham, psham, like <laughs> if, if guys don't do that your laptop probably be healthy i'm usually like way gentle with the technology type of stuff so i really matter their longevity for a long periods of time if i'm gonna use it and uh, yeah i still get annoyed when sometimes or my friends comment trying to ah, like in keyboard i'm just what the heck are you doing like <laughs> it, it like hurts me because uh, i know they are not as sensitive as i do and seeing them trying to do that is not acceptable for me and i always like uh, let them use the external keyboard instead of the laptop's keyboard because uh, like I, I do think if you press these keyboards quite hard like in nerd rage like uh, angry for something uh, they might <laughs> they might be fragile they might be break uh, yeah i don't, don't don't do that don't do that don't get rage in gaming don't uh, say bad words i know it's getting uh, maybe uh, angry like it's maybe getting uh, making yourself rage but try to keep it calm keep it uh, like <laughs> like don't try to destroy your hardware for a game it, it is really uh, like something i need to say <sighs> yeah now i'm really trying to find anything i could say right now if i had anything more uh, if I remember after the video, I'm going to be mad, but uh, I'm not going to be like, I'm going to be mad, but I'm gonna keep it calm. I'm gonna keep it cool, okay? Um, okay, I'm really thinking right now. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Give me some time, guys. I'm thinking. Uh, is there anything more? Yeah, as I said, like, also comment down below if you have any more questions. If you didn't find anything useful in this video, like, you can also comment down below if you guys see, like, Oh my god, this video is so much hours, I can't watch this, oh my god, what the heck? Like, if you are thinking like that, then I guess comment down below, that would probably uh, help you to get the answer you need uh, for the laptop. And yeah, uh, that was, I guess, everything I could say right now. I, I, I can't remember, like, anything more. Uh, yeah, I'm about to end the video again, guys. Uh, this is, like, one of the interesting uh setup i did for a very long time uh, like i put the camera uh, in this position and yeah i'm gonna also upload uh different type of contents in the channel as well like finally i did a ch <laughs> like technology content over a valorant like entire valorant streak finally broken and yeah yeah about that if you guys also have anything for the valorant too i can maybe do something about it now or if it's already too late, then I will probably mention the comment section about what happened. And yeah, yeah. Other than that, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it. Uh, end the uh, video pretty soon. Before ending, uh, as I say for the most of the time, make sure to hit like and subscribe button, guys, if the video is helpful, obviously. And comment down below the video if you have anything to say. And yeah, other than that, uh, hopefully see you guys later in another video. And bye, guys. See you.